really feel like this, this country keeps you sick on purpose. Mm -hmm. Like I went to Colombia and I and I ate KFC, the McDonald's and everything. Yeah. It was so fresh. It felt like they just cut the chicken in the back. <laughs> it was so good that when I came back to America, like I craved it. It was terrible. It tastes like plastic. Mm -hmm. And then it, it made me, you know, take a big shit. Like it's like, oh, I forgot why I haven't ate KFC in a long time. Like it makes me shit. But it didn't make me shit in fucking right. Colombia. Like, yo, this country is keeping us sick. Mm -hmm. I'm an American in Italy, and I'm here to inform you about America's shitty food and how they are making us sick and why Americans are fat and Europeans are slender. Why? Because while we think we might have the same food, we actually have different, shittier food. I'm going to give you a concrete example. This is Fanta. Fanta in Europe is made from sugar, carbonated water, and real orange in the u.s is all fake shit all artificial all bad for your health in europe this is basically watered down real orange juice with carbonated water in the u.s it's all fake shit with artificial colors <laughs> that are bad for you and also known to create adhd in children hmm, strange this may be a bit controversial, maybe not, but since I was diagnosed, me and my mom have been putting in research about food and what we should do now that I have cancer, how I should um, manage my diet, what water I should drink. So we have completely cut off carbs, sugar, we cut off meats, and I'll tell you why. We even switched the water I'm on to an alkaline-based water. I think me being on this diet is helping a lot with chemo. It's been like a really bad couple of days, but it's getting better. But getting to the controversial part, I think if I wasn't living in America, I wouldn't have cancer. Now, you might be asking, how did you come to that conclusion? So we know carbs and sugar feeds cancer, so of course that's why we're going to cut that out. But why are we cutting out the meats? In America... All of our food compared to other countries, I don't know if there are others that do this too, all of our food is processed and pumped full of hormones. The type of cancer I have, ovarian cancer, is a hormonal cancer. It also feeds on hormones. And what is pumped full of hormones? You guessed it. Meat in America. My brother is currently in Iraq visiting family, seeing how the place is, and he's loving it. And he was just telling me how the food there is in such small portions compared to the food we serve here, and yet he gets so full, and he's losing weight. He's, he's healthy there. And this guy has, like, allergies to every little thing on earth. I'm exaggerating, but still. My mom also told me that when she was in Turkey, she would eat the same foods that we'd have here. But over there, her blood sugar never went high. It was always healthy, and she got to eat whatever the fuck she wanted. Everything she ate never raised her blood pressure. She never had an issue with her diabetes. But the minute she came home to eat food, it was haywire. She's weak. She's in a bad state. It's just horrible. In America, we have we specialize a lot more with medicine, like with cancer and heart disease and diabetes, obesity, because of the food we feed our people. And the food we feed is so cancerous that we also, I'm pretty sure our country has the highest population in cancer. I was just telling my friends and my family, if I was living in another country, I probably wouldn't be diagnosed with stage 4 ovarian cancer at 19 years old. And I do want to leave America. And like some people are like, oh, why don't you leave? I wish I could, but with what money? <laughs> what am I going to do? Especially now that I'm sick.